Jessica Nickel here from TTP. So today we are going to go over the maintenance of your laser. I know you're all very excited for this video, so let's just jump right into it. So the first thing you can do, well, something that we have done, something that Ray did, got a really big piece of uh, ABS pipe here. And if you take a look inside, you can see that we can fit all of our blades inside. You can go ahead and get a bottle of white vinegar. Once your blades are inside, then you can dump the vinegar in here until it fills it up. Leave it there to sit and it's just a simple wipe off all the grime all the burning uh, just disappears right off your blades so once you have all the blades in there then the next step would be to go ahead and take off all of your doors on these side doors here there's just a little lever that you pull that will release it from both ends You can take your air compressor if you have a nozzle or something hooked up to it and or like if you have a leaf blower that would work as well and just simply blow out all the really big dust particles that have accumulated on your machine. Alright so next what you can do is you can just get an empty spray bottle and do a 50-50 mix of water and vinegar and make sure that you have a microfiber cloth. You can just start from the top start spraying the machine down. Um, you want to make sure you have a microfiber cloth when you are especially doing the acrylic so that you don't scratch it. So you can just go ahead, start getting it all soaked up. You can go right in the compartments. Just give everything a spray. Here you can see it taking care to spray down the rail and wiping off the dust and the old oil. For this part here on the part that is attached to the gantry, you can take your husband's toothbrush and get all of this grime and old oil out from under there. Moving the head side to side will ensure that it's going to force all the old oil out and of course do this gently. So same with the tube, you can just simply spray it with the vinegar water and wipe it down with your cloth. Yes, it feels a little scary, just be gentle and, you know, realize what you're working with, you'll be fine. You can also go underneath and clean the rails for your Z-table. You can clean all around. You know, sometimes it's easier just to wet the cloth so you can you know, get the dust off some of these parts. It's just all very simple. When cleaning the component compartment, make sure to just spray your cloth as you do not want to be spraying liquid onto any of your electronics. So you can just give it a spray and wipe them down, being careful not to unplug anything. All right, so for maintenance on your chiller, the first thing that you can do is drain the water. There's a drain cap on the back. Open that up and take off the top cap as well to allow airflow to push the water out through the bottom. While that's draining, you can come over to the side. On both sides, there is an air filter. So it's just on the side panel here. You can remove it, thoroughly clean it. You can wash it. If you wash it with water, make sure that you dry it 100% before you put it back on. Once these are clean, you can put your drain cap back on, fill up your chiller, and close it up.
now that you have your laser wiped down and clean, you can go ahead and put your doors back on. For these ones, just put the solid end in first. Then you can pull down on the spring-loaded lever, like so, and put it back in. For cleaning your focus pen, you do not need to remove it from, from the tube. We just don't use it on our particular machine. So remember to never actually remove the pen from the bracket. You can just unscrew here on the bottom half, take it off, and you can soak it and clean it all in vinegar. It is imperative to clean your focus pen daily. It's something that you want to do on a regular basis to prevent it from sticking. Hey, Ray here for the maintenance part of the video. Um, we're going to need three things. Well, you don't need three things. Three things that are going to help you. If you can get a syringe, a foam uh, paintbrush, and sewing machine oil. You can buy this off Amazon. So we're going to get started by soaking our foam paintbrush in oil. You don't want oil dripping everywhere, and that's why we use a foam paintbrush. So just kind of keep it so it's not dripping. That's good. Come over to your rails. And just like you're painting, we're just going to run this along the rail like that. Move the head over this way. Run it along this side. And do the same on the sides. And finally, the last side. Make sure you're still getting a, little, a good amount of oil in there. We're a little bit low here. We can add a little bit more. Always make sure you clean your foam off so it doesn't drip oil all over the machine. All the way to the back. Now we're going to come over to the laser head. We're going to use our oil dropper and we're going to go right in here. Did she say use your husband's toothbrush? Hmm. Okay, just kind of shake that back and forth. Get some on both sides. Just a few drops. And then again, shake this back and forth, try and get some oil underneath there. I can see a little bit of junk coming out. All right, and that's good for the rails. Oh. All right, on your motor and your gears here, uh, some of you have experienced clicking noises. Uh, the clicking is going to be coming from here. This almost never has to be oiled, and if you do have to oil it, like do it once a year, it will be fine. All you're going to do is put a few drops of oil in all areas. Wherever, oops, that's a little messy. In there. And on, oops, on the end here. As well as on the motor and in here and move your head back and forth. Now if your machine is clicking, uh, after you oil it, you're going to have to run it for about an hour before the clicking noise will go away, but it will go away. Now you've got three areas, where we're, uh, four areas where we're going to do this. So where the motor is here, we're going to come on the left side of the machine and we're going to put a few drops in here on the end inside here and on the end and on the back of the machine this one's a little bit hard to get at but you've got a motor back here also so you're going to do the same thing here. Wherever there's a joint, we want to put a little bit of oil in there. Now 
All right, and finally the last side on the right side of the machine. You have a gear <clears throat> on your rod way at the back here. You just need to put a little bit of oil on there. Now you'll notice there's a grease nipple here. Ignore it. This does not need to be greased. Uh, these are meant for high torque machines with a lot of RPM and your laser machine is never going to put out uh, the kind of stress that these are designed for. So those are factory set and they're good. Okay, open your bottom doors in the front. And again, we're going to soak our foam brush with oil. And we're just going to run it down your ball screws. Get a good amount of oil in there and do this on all four ball screws. The back ones are a little bit hard to get at, but you can do it. All right, not sure why men have to make everything so complicated. It is not that hard to get at the ball screws, so let's think like a woman. If you just come over to your table, you can lower the C table and it gives easy access to all four ball screws. And finally we're ready to put our blades back in. So your blades have been soaking for a long time. You'll soak them, to, to, for well the length of time will depend on how dirty they are. If you've never cleaned them you might want to soak them overnight. But just to show you, all you need to do now is just wipe across and everything comes right off. So we're going to wipe down all the blades, make sure they're nice and dry. And I'm going to show you here, you may have noticed that um, your laser machine doesn't look exactly like ours. Uh, this is actually a prototype machine which has a few things that we haven't actually introduced to our lasers yet. Um, pull up table and things like that. We uh, probably won't be introducing this. It's not working as well as we hoped it would. But uh, we'll make some modifications and see how it goes. Now that you're done stirring up all the dust, your laser is clean and oiled. We can go ahead and clean the mirrors so you are going to need a clean microfiber cloth and lens cleaning solution. Just simply give it a little spray. And wipe it gently. Switching over to the dry side. And moving on to the second mirror, again, just give it a spray, wiping it down. Switch over to the dryer part so you don't leave any streaks and you make sure you're getting it all. Ending with the third mirror, you can use whatever tool you have. I have a chisel here, so you can go ahead and loosen the locking nut. Removing that. And gently popping out the mirror. As you can see, it definitely needs a clean. And you can see on my cloth that we are definitely getting grime off of these mirrors. Lastly, cleaning your lens. You can refer to our previous YouTube video on how to clean your lens. Thank you for watching this video. If you would like to see more tutorial videos, please like and smash that subscribe button. Like, don't just like it, like, smash it. Like, smash subscription so that you're subscribed to our videos. <laughs> you know, it would, yeah, it's, it's good. Mm -hmm. Lastly, you can clean your lens. So for that, you can refer to our last, uh, lastly, lastly, clean when you, when completing, <laughs> when cleaning the, 
When completing... <laughs> <laughs> when cleaning the compartment section, you... When you... <laughs> When cleaning the compartment section, make sure to spray your... Okay, hold on. Yeah, what am I supposed it's to It's a say? components section, not a compartment section. Is that what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> the component compartment. Just simply give it a little spray. Oh, make sure that... I have to edit that out. I can't unspray it. <laughs> Where is it coming? When completing <laughs> <laughs> When cleaning the compartment section. Is that what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> the component compartment. Okay. Oh, am I starting? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, ah, when cleaning the, <laughs> lastly, lastly cleaning your, and smash that subscribe button. Like, don't just like it, sub like smash it. Like smash subscription so that you're subscribed. <laughs>